Hey guys, welcome to another replay of Roofs. It's a multiplayer game, 3 versus 3. Let's see, I am on the other side. Sir, enemy yeah. is blitzing in this sector. Um, this is a uh, nuclear mode, actually. Meaning that you are allowed to build uh, nuclear howitzers, artillery units with a very deadly load. Uh, let's see. I have yes, sir. Gelbus Ops to the left, Schnappi to the right. Sir, enemy is blitzing in this sector. Reporting. It's enemy me in the middle. Um, I'm assuming that both my neighbors are going to go straight for the artillery, nuclear artillery. So I am not. Actually, I'm going to try to settle in the middle a bit. You can see I've got my barracks up first and here you see this neighbor and this neighbor yeah they already have their nuclear factories up they actually have the same uh, form shape as the prototype blinky very important of course if you're going to play uh, on nuclear mode which I have never really done only once before I think a long time ago but if you do uh, make sure you camouflage everything and all the time stack up your ruses you actually get in nuclear mode you get extra ruses more than normal so you can uh, afford to spend a bit more make sure you don't forget to uh, renew it also very useful of course radio silence I've actually I'm still doing blitz now, but later I'll be spreading out radio silence left and right. I already put one here, because I'm going to uh, have a look what's going on here. You see his infantry is coming. I noticed that too. I already got my recon. And some of my upgraded infantry have you already. Usually I don't upgrade first. I, f uh, I pump out 5 or 10 infantry and get to the nearest or a tactical place in a forest or city and then I upgrade but now since I fought I have a bit of time you can see he's actually firing upon these guys and I've sent in a bomber now the nuke is going somewhat totally different and my bomber hit two ah the Nuclear missile finishes two others, but this one survived, funnily enough. I've got some uh, Stukas, freshly built, they're going after the tank. And I'm putting my infantry in reverse, going after this one again, the enemy, so that I can protect this howitzer here, because for close range he can't really do anything of course. Let's have a look. The thing is with howitzers, I think you need to wait at least like they have a reload time of like 30 seconds at least. So, so my infantry is uh, too late, but that's okay. You can see he just moved some uh, recon probably to the forest. Yep. Got my recon going there, so just spot it. And my neighbor here, he immediately sees it, or it's an automatic firing. I don't know. They're both firing. One down, two down. As my Stuka was on the way and bombs, nothing. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, that's uh, some destruction there. So now you can see why you need to camo your buildings because one shot on your building and it's gone it's a waste of a lot of money so these two barracks here that he built both from snappy yes you can see there's already one nuke on its way and probably going to hit his barracks oh overshooting he probably was shooting for the artillery that was standing here 
And now he took out the barracks as well. And the barracks here. Aha. Uh -huh. I didn't notice the snappy was my neighbor. So he already surrendered, leaving Galbus Galbus Obst here to take care of both bases. I keep mine and Galbus Obst now has to take care of both sides. That also means he gets a lot of uh, extra money, all the money that was left from Schnappi. I have my airplanes here in the air, they're hidden with radio silence. I prefer to have them in the air so they can go to places fast. Now you can see here, he put up some uh, AA. Gilbus Ops is actually going to kamikaze on them, not really getting anywhere. Now I don't really know why we're seeing them. Does he have recon? Yes. But I doubt his recon can see all the way here. Of course he has infantry here. <laughs> Stopping attack. I was wondering why can we see so much but there's infantry here and a recon here. So that... Yes, sir. Starting unit oh. Duh. And of course he has the spy roosts. See the little eye icon? That means he's got the spy rules allowing you to see which unit is which. In the meantime, I have not a lot much more. Yeah, I'm building some more uh, airfields. My first one was full already, so I immediately built two more. I have uh, plenty of money with my four supply depots. Got my first long tom. It's not called long tom, but it is in uh, one of the final campaigns, campaign missions. I'm sending out. Oh yes, I want to get this supply depot, Sir, and I noticed my truck never made it, or it did, and the supply depot gets shot fast. You can see his nukes are getting slaughtered. Yeah, it got uh, nuked. Yeah, that's uh, a loss of 40, but I was pretty doing pretty well with money all the time above 100, 200. My neighbor is also building up a bit of air force. No, not yet. I actually did not have any fighters, so I sent my Stukas out uh, after his recon. Didn't do much. Sent another bomber after this one. And I want to retreat, yeah. He is retreating. See if he survives that. At least the tactical nuke is shooting. And his recon is withdrawing. That's perfect. But now his nuke gets shot because he was spotted after firing. Those are the risks. You can see on the right, he's actually trying to get uh, tanks across, Pershings. But they're easily spotted. Oh, his base is uh, camouflage run out because, yeah, he's of course paying more attention to his own base and not to the one that was uh, left behind by Schnappi. So he forgot to put camouflage on there and the base is Sir, gone. No I actually am putting some camouflage of my own in this sector complete. just to protect basically his uh, supply depots. The reason available. being Sir, of course if he doesn't get any money he can't help me either. So I gain a lot by making sure he keeps his depots. Now the tanks he had, as you can see, not doing much. There's another missile, and it goes. Boom. Yes, sir. Unit production. Oh, something 
coming down the street. Infantry. By the speed of it, I'm guessing it's uh, blitzed. Or it's uh, maybe recons. Let's have a look. I have the city at the moment, but he has uh, a scout, so he knows I'm there. Um, I think around this time I'm upgrading my fighters. Yep. Here you go, the upgraded Messerschmitts. So I have jet fighters now, set of propelled fighters. And I'm going to take out his recon here, and it's a fighter bomber. I think I'm also going after that. In the meantime, uh, the neighbor on the left is also going for more air power. Here they're actually coming across the bridge. One recon and one tank. Not even. Two recons. One armed, one not. Armored. Armored. There goes his recon. Making these guys invisible again. Now there's a major air war, it seems, but it's mainly these airplanes are doing nothing. They're actually being followed by, by just one fighter, which on his turn is being followed by one of mine. We still got a recon here, or again, there's a recon. My nuke is uh, shooting. Let's see how much I hit. Just the AA. I have to be careful not to get too close to my own units now. Building flag units for here, for on the right. And this one, for some reason, wanted to cross. But luckily, I saw it just in time. I can send them back. And these guys are just going behind the forest, and I never really thought about actually using radio silence here. So these guys are pretty visible. As a matter of fact, there comes the nuke and gone. That's one hundred twenty dollars, three times forty, gone. It's going in the city, I'm getting a lot of uh, air cover, he's building a lot of AA, not that much actually you can see, he's not doing so well on money, I'm guessing. He does have a lot of supply depots, they have to split it in three, whereas my neighbor has two uh, sources, his base and the base he took over, or got basically. Now my nuke here is not standing so cleverly, if I get a nuke in return now, it also takes out the infantry and the AA here, so it's time to move this RT. Here goes the other flag, bam, but as you can see already building some new ones. You can only build one atomic center, by the way, so you can't speed up construction of your nuclear howitzers. So in this case I just built two free in a row, in case I lose some, I immediately have a backup. These tanks want to come over, but no, denied. Uh, will this one survive? Yes, at least drop a bomb. <laughs> I'm not actually... Does it survive? It survives! Look at that. Tanks destroyed here, and look at the <laughs> Armada Gilbus Oves that was built already. Bombers. It's difficult to see like this, but... There we go. For some reason, I don't know why nothing is camouflaged anymore. It's like they can't be boarded. We can very easily see his uh, artillery now, where it is. I've got, uh, you can see, one, two, three, four marked out. Stuka's going at all of them, and he's carpet bombing the entire base. 
so that takes care of his whole air force. I'm taking out the nukes. One, two here, gone. See both gone. Third one here gone, and the fourth one is marked, so it won't take so long. Too long, unless he does it. No, not yet. What's so happening here? Oh yes, I'm cop to bombing this area. We had some uh, infantry here. Now these guys are just sitting ducks. As you can see, in the middle, we're pretty much covered. He's <laughs> sending out a lot of uh, engineers. He must have a lot of money. Well, we all did, so... But the good thing is, uh, the right side is covered, as you can see. He keeps bringing in stuff. <coughs> but as money is not unlimited, because we can't build administrative buildings, it's just a matter of taking out more units than you lose and thus money see he's pushing this artillery all the way forward and I don't know why it's not covered at all it can barely hit something oh look at that it's actually quite bold this guy protected manages to get a shot off <coughs> headed for the airfield. Yep. Yeah, well, stupid of him. Just stupid of him not to camouflage his own base. He killed the unit now, but. As long as he can still keep the. As you can see, these guys can't land. Which might mean they get killed soon, so he has to build a new air vault real fast, as long as they can get down. Looks like all of his airplanes can get down now. Good. So basically the airfield cost $50, the nuke artillery cost 80 so that's still uh, $30 that he loses. In that way, slowly you win. I got my uh, scout here, which allows me to see all his AA, most of it, and attack. It's actually, uh, I know there's a nuke here. One of these buttons is a nuke. Can't see it yet. Now look at all the airplanes, mine, his, all, most of them in radio silence, not so long anymore here. As you can see the middle is, uh, it's, well, it's gone. Unless he uh, camouflaged it all again, I don't know how much he survived, we can actually see. Oh look at that, he actually managed to get back real hey what's that he can build another I thought you could only build one hmm I must have been out of money maybe <laughs> that's why I remember I wanted to build a second one and it was grayed out so I assumed it was because you can only build one but apparently he's uh, building a lot he's also well he's pumping out those artillery but the thing is, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4 times 8 is $320 walking around on a battlefield unprotected. Look, there's 3 here. Bam, $240 gone. So it's very important in the. Uh, if you ever do a nuclear war, it's very important to basically consolidate, um, keep your position. I'm losing my uh, thingy here. My artillery, yeah. But he's losing his. We got a shot off against each other. Boom. Look at that whole stack. Gone. Yeah, he was uh, flying in a few times on the right uh, flank. Like a few recons and just like two free bombers. And I don't know what he wanted to do, but he attacked some stuff here, but it wasn't really. Yeah, 
At worst, I think he destroyed an airfield, maybe not even. I put down a blockhouse just in case he wants to suck a punch me with paratroopers. Look here in the middle, all those nuclear at our atomic centers. Boom, gone. <coughs> One of the opponents uh, surrendered already just now. Actually, they both seem to have, but only this guy left. Depot is low on supply. Reporting. Supply depot nearly out. Unit reports damage, sir. I'm sending in a lot of paratroopers now, basically for the the kill. So Mrs. Schmidt for uh, escort. She is coming back. One bomber. Two recons, what the hell is that? I just sent my message Smiths out to uh, this area to provide cover. So I don't have message Smiths left to defend here. And he's carpet bombing my blockhouse, but of course it takes a bit more to get rid of the blockhouse. Now message Smiths have reloaded, immediately getting the storks. Or whatever recon that was and my base is invisible again except for these two of course because they're in a different area paratroopers are landing he had some AA here it's gone I just threw all my planes here at the same time including recon so no surprises in the city or the forests see one recon here, one is somewhere. Oh, one is here. Got his airbase. My planes are immediately landing there. And just taking over whatever's left, some supply depots, and immediately throwing in some new transports. He saw that, apparently, wants to copy my trick. But what you're gonna do with only three? Bombers coming in, I actually haven't given them an assignment, just fly over. My Stukas and Mrs. Schmitz are attacking the paratroopers. We don't make it that far. Would have been shut down by this AA here. He's got some uh, AA bunkers, but yeah, only one. He did uh, hold on long though. Well, hold on, he just stuck in there. Anybody else would have uh, surrendered already, but nope. Not until the last man is dead. I can appreciate that. Just keep fighting for what you're worth. Look at how much money he has, because he keeps pumping out those engineers. Look at that. They don't make it until like 10 meters outside, but... The A takes down some stuff once in a while. There's just too many airplanes. Got bombed. He's carpet bombing my ally. He's carpet bombing everything that's left basically. The HQ is extremely resistant, as you can read. So he actually survives uh, most of the carpet bombing. I'm sending in my units here. Also sending in some rather. Oh, not yet. I was sending in some paratroopers, but I've got these uh, oh, other paratroopers still there. Oh, there was still one guy left. What? Got his last building here, the airport. And I'm sending in some. No, still not. I am. Paratroopers from the right. But the other paratroopers walked all the way and got the last. Command center and it's over. Quick summary. Yep, that got a punch. Quick summary. Um, look at Galba's oak. She was much more useful than I was. He did a lot of carpet bombing, so that brought him a lot of kills and a lot of uh, tactical nukes, of course. I was going more for the precision strikes. With my Stukas losses, yeah, the least. 
Yeah, that's what you get when you go uh, precision striking. You don't use so many units. Kills. Looks good. Income. I was second, actually. I thought I would have more than him. But of course, he got the he got the second base. Of course, that's why. Yeah, twice the income at one moment. And the other guy is the best opponent. Opponent, 327. And funnily enough, he had the lowest level. So good going, El Mati, Mitai. I don't know. Anyway, that was this. Rules multiplayer replay nuclear mode. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, or comment, or like on everything so I know what's going on with you guys and what you thought about it. Subscribe to see my next video. See when it comes up. You can give me some tips. Always welcome. And see you next time. Bye bye.